Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 14th and 15th, Wednesday and Thursday, for my Capricorns. Hello, my Capricorns. How are you? Okay, this is Wednesday and Thursday reading, so I use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Cards went down. I got to go pick them up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you want to be in that order. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three cards actually plopped out. The full moon is on the 15th. You have three days before, three days afterwards to kind of make use of that energy. It's a great time to release what's holding you back, relinquish what doesn't serve you, and request, because it's always good to ask for stuff, especially out of the universe. But remember to, um, not but, but and remember that the um, shadow of Mercury retrograde is now gone. Ooh, really good times. Middle card, all four are, I mean, all three are down, and the middle card is reversed. Let's see what it says here. The Five of Michael. Okay, Michael is air energy. It is our it is our Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy, our thought energy, our mind. The situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So what is the situation? Whatever it is, it's like this is a time of, of, of transition for you. This is a time of moving forward for you. I don't know, you know, we've been talking about that this was a very prior readings, that it's a very focused and, you know, and, you know, purposeful time for you. And it's like, you just don't want what you've had. You want something new and you're really figuring that out. Release your outcome, your attachment to the outcome. So what was the outcome? Really think about that. But then it says, you know, um, consider taking a more uplifting approach. Make sure you keep that connection really strong with your you know, with that supernatural um, essence. This card is reversed. And this is the Queen of Ariel. Now, this is your energy, very much Earth energy. It's also Taurus, and it's also Virgo energy. And this is mature, practical, generous, and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. Maybe that's the thing that you have, but maybe, I feel like maybe you've been working so much, or maybe you've been worrying so much that you haven't really been enjoying your life as much. Maybe you haven't been necessarily taking care of the people around you or the or yourself as much. So nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. Let's see what this last card says. And this is the Two of Raphael. Now, the Two of Raphael. Raphael is emotional. This is water energy. This is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This is about you know, this is about, um, I don't know, this could be like falling in love type of energy. And you know, I don't normally go down that road, but we'll have to. Because this is more, you know, and, but a relationship, relationship could be your work, could be intimate, and it could be family. But this is really more of a, re this is more of an intimate relationship. This is something, maybe you're going to meet somebody, maybe, you know, maybe the thing that's going on here is, um, you know, what, wherever you're at right now, it's just not, it, again, if the situation doesn't serve you, take care of yourself because something really good is about to happen. <laughs> this one is two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. So really, this is about some self-love. But then when you do have your self-love, you then open yourself up to actually loving the ones around you and possibly even attracting that. So this is very much about you kind of making some changes in your thoughts, kind of making changes in your actions a little bit because it's, it's, it's you know, this is a great time with this full moon, but this is also about the power of attraction, okay? Interesting energy for you, my Capricorns. Very interesting. I will definitely have to read about you know your comments on this one. So you tell me what this is all about, okay? Okay. So my Capricorns, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.